Hi guys, welcome to Xperia Tips, I'm Dom and today is the first deep dive video into the camera of the Xperia 1 Mark II. Right, first up, let's talk lenses. Now, in the overview video, I did mention that this has got a 16mm, a 24mm, and a 70mm lens, uh, all Zeiss calibrated, all with Zeiss T-Star coating on them uh, to help you get razor sharp images and also combat against those awkward flares and reflections that you can sometimes get in daylight. It's also got what's called a 3D indirect time of flight sensor in there as well. But what all these things do? Right, let's start off simple, shall we? This 16 millimeter ultra wide lens gives you a huge 124 degree field of view, which is great for taking group shots with all of your friends. And landscapes, landscapes too. Landscapes work as well, yeah. Also, this would be a fantastic vlogging camera because I mean, at arm's length, you can fit loads of stuff in. Anyway, vlog transition. And then you have your 70 mm telephoto lens, which gives you the equivalent of a three times optical zoom compared to the standard lens, which we'll cover in just a moment. Uh, you can also zoom in even more, uh, and Sony do a fantastic job with the digital zoom of cleaning up your image so you still get crystal clear pictures up to 10 times zoom. And then you have your main camera with this 24 mm lens. Now, the sensor powering this camera is 50% bigger than the one found in the previous Xperia 1, which means that it's 50% more sensitive to light. And here is where we start talking about the slightly more complex subject of sensors. The main camera has got 247 focal points on the sensor and a ridiculously fast readout speed, up to 10 times faster than the competition, thanks to its 12 million dual photodiodes on that sensor. Readout speed, there's nothing sexy about readout speeds. Uh, think again. That is 20 full resolution frames per second with autofocus and auto exposure tracking. It's still going. So why is this important? Well, truly professional action shots are now within the grasp of the general consumer. And thanks to algorithms to do with autofocus and auto exposure, inherited from Sony's alpha cameras, and of course, Sony's new artificial intelligence that just knows what the main subject of the photo is going to be. Anyone, including me, can look like a first class photographer without really trying. Now, full disclosure, that 20 frames per second burst is only available in Photo Pro, but don't be scared off by the word Pro in the name of the application. Uh, there is a fully automatic setting in there, and I will do a video looking at Photo Pro in the very near future, so don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss that one. But also, on the official Sony Xperia channel, there are a whole bunch of awesome videos to do with Photo Pro, so in the meantime, go check those out. But right now, let's have a closer look at eye autofocus. Okay, what you are seeing right now is Sony's real-time eye autofocus in action. But the thing is, if I was to turn around and you wouldn't be able to see my eye, what would the Xperia 1 Mark II be trying to do? Well, first it will revert to object tracking using its algorithms inherited from Sony's alpha camera range. Then it will use its AI to figure out what the main subject of the photo is supposed to be. And then it will use the dual photo diode pixels to focus correctly. And then the eye time of flight sensor will be able to map the image and really lock in that focus. Until my eye came back in focus. And then it will do all those calculations again until it found my eye and then it will just stay locked on my eye. Now that's pretty cool. But what's even more awesome is the fact that this camera can do those calculations 60 times every single second. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, hold on a minute, didn't the first Xperia 1 and the Xperia 5 have exactly the same eye autofocus? Well, no, this is real-time eye autofocus. So thanks to those 60 calculations per second, it can actually track my eye at 30 frames per second and shoot full resolution photos at 20 frames per second whilst maintaining focus on my eye. And believe it or not, that is 100% faster than last year's offerings. And what's more, it can now do this for animals as well. And although it works in a very similar way to the Alpha A9 camera, it's actually way easier on the Xperia 1 Mark II. You see, when you use the Alpha A9, you'd have to go into the manual settings and change the setting for eye autofocus to animal from human, and then change it back when needed. Not that helpful when you really want to seize the moment. 
But with the Xperia 1 Mark II, the software in Photo Pro can actually do it for you. It can track up to 10 different faces in a single shot, but we'll just focus on the largest one by default and activate the eye autofocus on that larger face. You can swap the faces just by tapping on the screen. And what's even more impressive is that the AI in the smartphone will recognize if it's looking at an animal's face and automatically increase the shutter speed because animals are far less predictive and faster with their movements than us sluggish humans. So, like I said before, this camera really puts the tools of the professionals into the hands of the average consumers and really helps you capture the previously impossible thanks to the blistering speed that the Xperia 1 Mark II has inherited from its big brothers in the Alpha camera range. Stay tuned for some more videos on the Xperia 1 Mark II coming up very soon. Like, follow and subscribe and I will see you next time for some more Xperia tips.